Hey there, it's Brett of Booster Therapy, and it marks a new month. It's August 2020, and yep, we have another giveaway. In July, we gave away a Zerzoth EDH deck complete with all the goodies. It was valued around 250 or more dollars um, with, you know, around 300 with the deck box and everything, and, well, we're doing it again. This time, I figured I'd show the commander. So we're going to give away a full commander deck of... Tatiova Benthic Druid. I'm going to be building that. It's going to be worth 200 plus dollars. It's going to have a deck box, sleeved up, everything that you would need to pull it out of the box, play, and have a lot of fun, be focused, and, well, hopefully stomp your friends. So all you have to do in this month to qualify is the same as last month. Just comment on our videos, be a subscriber, make sure you're liking the videos. At the end of the month, we're going to gather all of these comments, pick one person at random, and that person is going to get that deck. We're going to ship it to you. It doesn't matter if you're in the United States or outside of the U.S. We're going to give it to you just for watching, being a subscriber, and enjoying the content. So uh, without further ado, enjoy the video. Have a great day. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. It's a magical box of magical jumpstart. And a new month, it's August, and we're giving away another commander deck for the month of August. The same as before, totally different deck. We don't even know exactly what it's going to be yet. But if you comment on the video and you're a subscriber, you're entered to win. We're going to be announcing the giveaway of the other one very soon. But until then, Spirits is our first pack. I don't honestly know what Spirits has in it besides the really sweet land. Shacklegeist and the Battleground Geist. Anything else that's good? Essence Flux. Not really, but we got the Spirit Island. So rares, lands, we'll leave some room in the center to track our mythics around Baby Godzilla. <gasps> Another Spirits. I think this is one of the worst ones, besides the Awesome Island. So I think it's Shacklegeist, then maybe uh, Rattle Chains or something like that? No, we got back to back the exact same one, though. I think so, anyway. And the island. I do love that island. It is super cool looking. So what do we want? Unicorns? Elves? Because with elves we can hit either Crater Hook or the Allosaurus Rider. Reanimated? So here are the best cards you can get are Reanimates and what, From the Dark, Rise from the Dark Realm, something like that. Ooh, we'll take it, Reanimate. Really, really good card. Nice little rare. And the Reanimate Swamp. Very cool swamp. Take another one of the Phyrexian ones too. Get the Phyrexian land. Wizards. So Talrand is kind of the standard in Wizards. I'm not sure what the top end would be. There it is. Talrand. The Sky Summoner. Don't think anything else very good. And we got the Wizard Island. Come on. Unicorns. Or... This one. Oh my god. Third Spirits? Everybody who had a chance to sponsor this box is probably glad they didn't. Because we're just getting all the Spirits. Another Shacklegeist. A third one. With the exact same pack again. We're not even getting like the variation in packs where you'd get the... I think it's Rattle Chains or something, something like that. Oops. Land in the wrong spot. Well, does anybody need a Spirit Island? They are pretty cool. Goblins. We can get Muxus. Or Mucus. Whatever his name is. I think that's the best hit here. Yeah, yeah all right. Muxus yeah, Goblin ball. Brandy. It's about as close as goblins will ever get to a crater hoof. I think it's pretty devastating. And a big goblin mountain. So that was really good one. Muxus might as well have been a mythic. I think he's worth like 20, 30 bucks. Witchcraft. Actually, Witchcraft has like a $14 witch in it if we're lucky. 
it's not the bog brew, but it's the second one that could be behind the bog brew. So bog brew was downshifted and iconic to uncommon. There it is, Witch of the Moors. This is the 14 plus dollar one and the artwork is amazing. It's one of those great ones where if you're playing, playing a bit on the game life, you see that? We got a little misprint too. Little dots in the corner. It works well and the beautiful, creepy, horrifying Witch Swamp. That, is, that might be one of the, that might be the best one. Just a bunch of hands coming out of a swamp with a giant eyeball. Spellcaster. I think most of these have the double vision in it. Yeah, somebody cue the foreigner. Double vision. Ooh, young pyromancer. Good uncommon. Almost jumped right past that. And the Spellcaster Mountain. Come on. Lucky Elves. Unicorn something. Another Spellcaster. We're getting a lot of the duplicate fun here. Ooh. Charmbreaker Devils. It's a good devil. Ooh, and a dual caster mage. Very nice. This is probably the better half then of what you can snag. Another one, of, more of that little dot issue from the spellcasters. And the mountain. No mythics yet. We need to hit some mythics. Been getting like six or seven in a case of reanimated. I'll take another reanimate, though. I'll take Rise from the Dark Realms, though. That's a mythic. It's a powerful one. Oh, that the Grave Waker. I think actually if we get Grave Waker, we get Scourge of Neltoth for the other rare. But the best part about this one is when everybody I see skipping it, not just the zombie infestation, it's the Exhum. People forget how powerful and good this card is, and it's a couple bucks. Good little card and the beautiful Reanimate Swamp. We're going to get a mythicless box. Hopefully not. Smashing. This is the worst pack you can open. We're on fire with the garbage. See, it doesn't even want me to open it. Oh. Unless it's the good one. Nope. Volcanic Salvo. The big bomb that goes boom. And the mountain. Oh, drop the facts. Might have to switch out the baby Godzilla. Need that good luck. Legion. Legion can have path to exile in the uncommon slots. Glorious anthem for the rare. And did we get the one with that? Nope. And the Legion land. So, so far, I think our top hits. Muxus, the Witch, and Reanimate. All pretty good cards, but none of the superstars. I think Allosaurus Rider is still like 60, 70 bucks. Crater Hoof, obviously, way up there. Steel Plume. Well, it's the better of the Feathered Friends opening or options. And the Feathered Friends Planes. I'm about halfway through. Not a mythic in sight. And we get another spellcaster. Let's hope we can get another charm breaker, devils. I'll take the dual caster mage. Nice. Charm breaker. And the dual caster. I think this is still like five or six bucks. Unless the reprinting's brought it down a little bit, but it's just a solid card. Mountain. What's it going to be? <sighs> Above the clouds. This one we can get any as. Which I would say, that's a good one. Fun little blue-white flyers commander with a little chaos baked in. Nice. Any as the gale force. Or Aeneas, however you say it. Very good card. Reign of Revelation with the Niels Ham artwork. And the island. What we got left? Nine packs. 
Nine of our 24 left. They all better have mythics. All right, archaeology can be extremely good. If we don't got the sharding sphinx right on the top. Ooh, scarecrow, we don't. We got the good one. Scarecrow. Varied rune for good uncommon. There's one card that might be in here that I'm looking for, too. Maybe not. Not in that one. But the islands is actually worth a few bucks. The archaeology island. Scarecrow. I think it's creeping way up there in price. Another spellcaster pack. Oh, this one's going to be the double vision again. I can feel it. Oh no, we got another Charmbreaker Devils with a dual caster mage again. A third dual caster mage. I'll take it. We are getting weird, weird duplication. More than I think this set's supposed to ever house. Especially for a set that has over 500 cards and like 200 some variations. Archaeology. Here's going to be the Sharding Sphinx. Sharding. Nope. We got the Scholar of the Lost Trove. It's kind of like a Snapcaster that also works for permanence. Let's see if this one has the artifact I'm looking for. Yeah, there it is. Ancestral Statue. Let me teach you a real quick lesson. If you don't know how good this guy is, do you play Animar? Because this guy is an infinite combo if you have Animar and Perforos. So, enjoy. Very good. Ooh, Chromatic Sphere is really good, too. That was a good pack. And an island. We will take the Animar infinite combo piece. More feathered friends. Man, where are our mythics? I don't think I've ever done this bad. Ever in my life. Archon of Justice. And the Archon of Redemption. And I think that's it for that pack. And some more planes with birds on it. Maybe all of the good ones are just on the left side. Let's, let's get this cursed box out of the way. Cover up baby Godzilla's face because it's bad luck. And see what we can do. Oh, holy shit. Man, we are getting some... Some of the rough ones. Ooh, Blessed Sanctuary. If you're going to get Legion, this is the best you could do. This is very good. Extremely powerful card. Ooh, and Path to Exile. So that is the good Legion pack. So at least out of the Legion packs, we got the good one. We still have not seen a Mythic yet. Again, normally I'm getting like six or seven on these. The best we could do right now if we mythic out is four. Ooh, dinosaurs. That gives us a shot at Selvala, though. That is one of the best. If we can hit Selvala instead of Galta. Ah, Galta's still good. It's like seven bucks, but it's not Selvala. Cultivate. And the Dino Land. We might go mythicless. A box without a mythic. We'll have to send this back to wizards. Say, what have you done to us? Above the clouds. I don't even think you can get a mythic in above the clouds. I think the best you can do is Aeneas. Yep. Inyas. Aeneas. Whatever it is. The Gale Force. And not another card. Island. Two packs. Two shots for mythics. The Phyrexian one, no doubt. Lands. Okay, if we get Oracle of Maldaya, I'll feel a little bit better about this box. Need to see the Oracle. It is a rare. The other one would be Mythic, so I'm trying to think if there's anything outside of Oracle. Nice! That's Mama a huge mia, that's hit. That's a spicy meatball. It's not a Mythic, but it might as well be. That is what we needed to see in the close here. Very, very, very good. And the Land Land. Last pack for our mythicless box. We get well read. I don't think you can get a mythic in this either. I think the best you can do is Ristic Study, which is really good. 
Ah, I got Mystic Archaeologist. We don't even get the Ristic Study. And read the ruins. What a horrifying box. I'm glad I could open this for you and see everybody. Sometimes Booster Therapy opens absolute trash. Until next time, this is Booster Therapy. Bye. <laughs>